can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once. I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Bruce Lee enters the octagon with his mind set on one thing tonight, that UFC championship. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. All right, early round action here. Perhaps Tom Aspinall could win this fight if it was just a kickboxing match, but he has got a decided grappling advantage, and most people believe eventually if this fight hits the floor in transition, Tom Aspinall will be able to find a submission. Beautiful jab there by the champ. Oh, nice jab. Beautifully timed and placed kick there by Aspinall. Slashing elbow from the clinch. Oh, big front kick lands flush. And now Leather being thrown on both sides. Let your hands go. Let those hands go. Nice shot there by the champ. Oh, how good is this? One minute into the fight, and we got a full on block. These guys said that they were going to point to the city octagon and they were going to fight. Did I believe them? No. So right now, I am so wrong. They are doing exactly what they said. Yeah, shades of Max Holloway against Ricardo Lamas back in the day. Man, back and forth we go, and early on, these guys getting after it. They told us it would be fun, and so far, they've delivered. Nice lead hook by Lee. Come on, you gotta keep your hands up. Single collar tie now. Now some spacing as they exit the clinch. Missed with that right hand. Got his guard pass. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Well, good dexterity and movement here on the ground to avoid any further damage, courtesy of that ground and pound. Nice job off of his back by Lee. Oh, that Kimura looks tight. Oh, he's out of danger. Great submission defense. He was able to take his arm out and stay safe. Making all these shots count. All right, we told you off the top that he had a reach advantage, and he really is using it. Nice punch there. Lee gets tattooed by that straight punch. I give one, I take one. You give one, you take one. That's how this fight is being played out. Uppercut is good. I mean, is this thing on repeat? How many times can you say punch to the head? Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there. Just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches there. If you're boxing this guy and only boxing him, you will be in trouble. Aspinall gets tagged by that stiff jab. Defense not there for him thus far tonight. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to start to add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack. Not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now, and it's starting to show itself. He's getting the ball here. I need you to All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. And dizzy as he looks to improve position here. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Aspinall's back in full mount. All right, so yet another ground and pound strike lands right there, DC. He's getting very active now that he knows he can land these strikes. 
in the half guard. Lee gets up. He is back on the feet here. Nice punch to the head. 45 seconds remain in the round. Now he pulls guard right into a triangle here. You've seen he's pulled guard, and he's now attempting a triangle choke, which is absolutely insane. Oh, so how about that? The offensive fighter bears on the submission now. Very smart. You got to keep position over submission. A lot of top pressure being applied here. So he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. All right, buddy, take a seat. Breathe for me. It's okay. Deep breath. Slow that heart rate down. You're fine. All right, we've got to protect that body more. You're letting him get in. All right, so there's the horn at the end of the round. Multiple takedowns landed for him over the previous five minutes. And you know what, John? Even more importantly, look at the opponent now. He's afraid to pull the trigger because he's been taken down so many times. Getting taken down is one thing, but getting it, having it happen to you Ready continuously Ready. really does make you gun shy. And right now, he's very tentative to let his offense go because of the fear of getting taken down back to the Madigan. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Punch. Very nice leg kick there by Lee. That was a big check. Pretty good position here with the single collar in the clinch. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Well, he might be working towards an attritive knockout here tonight as he continues to pepper that body. Look at those numbers, bottom of your screen. That has been the most significant stat in this fight. The body strikes landed for this young man, working here towards the best performance of his UFC career. Man, these guys have some chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. Lands a solid takedown right there. Aspinall's in half guard. Yep, got to be very careful there. And he will let his opponent stand up here. Nice front kick. Got the hook in quickly. And now some separation. Just out of the range with that right hand. Well, lands a good series of kicks there, DC. It really didn't take him long to get a good beat on his opponent. He figured the timing, and now he's been driving kick after kick into his opponent. Man, look at the redness starting to appear on the left side of his body. His opponent would be wise to continue to attack there. Under three minutes now to go in round two. Spinal gets caught by that straight punch there. Double leg lands. High level guard pass there as he moves into half guard. You know the guy's going to his left on the pass, but you cannot stop it. He is tremendous at passing the guard. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah. No pity pass to this guy. Ah. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. All right, feet on the hips here. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Lee going to work from guard here. Nice combination of strikes there. Very efficient, very effective. Look to set up that overhand. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. 
Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length, of course. It's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. And the kick lands. Well, he continues to stay busy, and he continues to land with volume punches here. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate out there. Big inside kick. Elbow, lead elbow, yes. He's found his range. Now he's in a rhythm, landing those nice, beautiful punches. Man, his body not looking too good right now. It's not quite Dominic Reyes against Jan Bojovic, but these body strikes really starting at him. They're starting to pay dividends. You know, he spoke to us about this earlier in the week, how he was going to eat this guy up from bottom to top. He was going to go in reverse. That is exactly what he has done. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Jab to the head by Espinal. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws this punch. 20 seconds left to go in round two. Final seconds here. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. You ready to fight? You ready? Here we go, third round of this championship fight. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Oh, man. Nice jab by Liv. Back and forth we go. Well, he's always working off of that jab. Nice jab there by Aspinall. He gets to the single collar time. Look for him to drive and move his opponent to find openings to land that free hand. Now a takedown attempt. It is not there, and not a ton behind him. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Oh, he's in trouble. Oh, big punch land. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Oh, how clean is that jab by Lee? Oh, beautiful knee to the body by him there. Again, we talked off the top about his size advantage, and he put it to good use there. Good straight hand there by Aspinall. Under three minutes to go in our third round. All right, so a little welt there starting to develop on the side of his body. A lot of strikes landing in that area tonight. I mean, he's got to do something. You cannot continue to ignore that you're getting hit in the body over and over again. You better address it now before we get to a point where you can't continue to fight. And we have passed the midpoint of that. 
Oh, right hook attempt. No good. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. Oh, another blistering combination there. Really starting to do a nice job stringing his shots together. And you can see the damage in his opponent's body. His face, his body, his legs. He's beating him up on all the targets. It's not one guy just head hunting. He is finding every opening that is presented to him. Back and forth we go. Lee gets caught by that straight punch, beautifully landed by the opposition. Well, one got through, that kick was blocked. Big right hook there by the champ. Oh, nice jab. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. There's that kick. Knee to the body, it's blocked. Another powerful kick there. A lot of volume with the feet tonight for him. It's unbelievable to watch somebody make kicking the base of their fighting style. He has shown us that it's possible. Lee gets hammered by that solid uppercut. That one got his attention. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body there. Really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. Nice job to get inside and get the single collar tie. Oh, and yet another knee finds the target. So a huge moment here. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Beautiful leg kick lands. Looks like he's trying to set up a takedown here. There's the attempt. Oh, collar tie. He lands a big knee to the body. Final seconds here. Oh, kick to the head. That can't feel good. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, buddy, take a seat. That was awesome. Everything you're doing is great. You really found your rhythm and your distance there. We want you to do more of the same. His hands are getting low, so let's look for more. All right, let's get you some highlights from that previous round, DC. I don't care how strong your core is, you can't take too many more of those body kicks. John, you can't train for that. I mean, you cannot train to take those types of body kicks. They start to really wear at your gas tank. And then you start to make mistakes. When you take that many body kicks, you start making mistakes. And before you know it, the fight's over. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here's round four. Fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, here we go. Fourth round of a possible five. And this is the time where fighters are really tested, right? Dig deep, lean on the heart. We'll see who has the upper. You feel pretty good in round number five. Round number four is the one that really does test the fighter. It really does test the metal of the guy inside of the octagon. Let's get busy with those hands now, man. Come on, let him go. Wow, what a head kick. Oh, nice jab by Aspinall. Man, he has been absolutely masterful on the feet this evening, and everything has worked off of that patented jab. He has had it in his opponent's face all night long, and he's used it to set up his other combinations. Expertly done on the feet tonight. Takedown defense holds up. That elbow got to the target very quickly. Made good use of his size there as he lands the flush knee. Both guys appeared to land there. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer because right now he seems lost to it. Effective use of the jab by Aspinall. 
Well, DC, no denying he's winning this fight. And it's got to feel pretty good if you're a fighter. You put in the work, and it all comes together on fight. And it all comes together. Nothing feels better to go out there and implement the game plan that you guys have worked on in training camp, and it goes as desired. Nothing feels better. Aspinall's nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. Straight right hand, no good. Throws that team. Really finding the kicking range now. Another one lands there. Always be closing. Busy in the clinch here, the punch is good. Double jab landed there by Lee. Nice combination on the feet, and now works it to a takedown. Oh, that is a high-level transition to half guard, and now in a position to do a lot of damage. Watch him sit back on the leg and land big ground and pound. All right, working on the ground here, his opponent's feet on the hips. Lee's in half guard now. There it is, now he's going to mount. What he has to do here is just try to stay relaxed. Big explosive actions, panicky actions, are what gets you submitted a lot of times. Nice entry there, and able to finish. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really effective with their strikes in this one. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry them through these very tough moments. Big knee lands. Oh, nice inside leg kick, yeah. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV, but every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and, you know, when you got a person like this in front of you that is so good at what they do, when you are bleeding like this and the work is showing, you got to try to find a way to stop them. He needs to try to get a takedown or something because the more he's standing, the more he's going to have to deal with this cut. And now, all the blood that's coming from the cut. Ten seconds to go in round four. What a thunderous head kick. Five, 20 minutes five. in the can, five to go. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. All right, 60 seconds between rounds. That gives us a chance to look at some of the replays from that previous round, including some of the damage sustained on his nose. Yeah, it was a, it was a nice shot that landed that opened up that cut on the nose. Granted, any cut is bad, Ready. but this one is in a spot where it shouldn't affect him too much. What we have to watch, though, John, is if the nose is broken. Right. Then it's hard for him to breathe. Yeah, get the blood in that nasal cavity, potentially trickles down the throat a little bit. I mean, fighting just sounds like a really fun <laughs> career. Well, let's get to the next round. Punch over the top. Lands a nice leg kick. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Nice job on defense to block that punch, champ. Oh, a beautiful kick to the head. Aspinall's left leg is damaged now. You can see he is limping. It was that last kick from his opponent that appeared to do the bulk of the damage. No problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Both fighters start to open up a little bit. 
Tries to take out the leg. Beautiful leg kick lands. But he needs to check one of these kicks. He has to discourage him from throwing this kick over and over again. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Aspinall. Fierce elbow from the top position. Might be a submission attempt here, Chan. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. And he's able to work his way back to his feet. He's got to either go southpaw or he has to actually just try to throw the whole kitchen sink at him. Under three minutes, remain in round five. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Aspinall. He does a great job of getting that leg kick to the target. Now they separate. Big shot to the head. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Lee gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. He landed that inside leg kick. Just out of range with that right hand. Oh, another beautiful body shot there. Nice pass. Side control now. Well, doing his able best to avoid the ground and pound here. Nice job by Lee. Body shot there. His cardio is great right now. He still seems fresh. He can seems like he can fight two more rounds if he needs to. 90 seconds to go to decide this one. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, nice kick. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Aspinall going for the leg kick. He does not connect. Oh, nice. One minute to go in the fight. Aspinall gets touched by that leg kick attempt. Nice body shot. Keep your hands up. Use your footwork now. It's okay. Use your footwork. Oh, beautifully placed in time kick there by Aspinall. Another big kick now. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. This is where he wants to do. Final 10 seconds of the fight. Great ground and pound by this man. Well, what a title fight it was. What a showcase it was for this division. But at the end of the day, the champion just did a little bit more. And you got to think he gets the nod, right? I believe it was the championship experience that allowed him to push through in those spots that he needed to in order to keep his championship. I agree with you, J.A. I think he keeps his belt. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 49-46, 48-47, and 48-47. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, and still the undisputed 
UFC Heavyweight Champion of the World, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Mixed martial arts royalty, folks. Bruce Lee, lighten up your living room tonight and giving this capacity crowd a